I would say my cooking skill level is probably just slightly above novice. I, I would like to think I know how to cook a lot of things, but I really don't. Sometimes when I'm bored, I decide to cook. Once I made these sugar cookies out of just random things that we had in our apartment, and I used this website that you input the ingredients that you have and it tells you what you're able to make out of it, so I ended up making cookies. Having to grocery shop for myself and with my roommate was definitely completely different from shopping with my family, and there was more freedom in choosing what to make and when to make it. But then there have been times where I don't want to make anything, so I just eat a bunch of junk food. I wouldn't say that everyone eats just junk food, because I know a lot of people who try to eat really healthily in college, but that's something that's difficult to do when you don't have a lot of time. College has definitely screwed up my whole eating and sleeping schedule. Staying up until like 2 a.m. every night would make me eat at like midnight, and then I'd rarely eat breakfast at a normal time, so... I eat at all weird times of the day, just whenever I'm hungry. I have a job, um, I have an internship on top of my job, and I'm in two organizations on top of having 15 hours, so it's a constant go type of thing. There are times that I don't have time to cook, or I'll just eat a snack and just not eat an actual meal for the day because I'm constantly running from place to place. But a lot of times when I cook, I'll cook something big, like a big bowl of pasta or a whole chicken because I don't want to have to cook again in two or three days. I cooked quite a bit before I went to college just because my family has a weird, like, awkward time, so no one's there at the same time, so no one really just cooks a big meal and leaves it out. Everybody just kind of cooks their own food. It's still one of those things, if I want to eat, I have to cook my own food. It was a lot easier at home because I had everything that I needed. And a lot of times I didn't have to buy the food. Now I have to like buy my own food. I have to make sure I have my own pots and I have my own pans. Like The majority of the pots and pans and stuff that we have, I'm 100% positive are not ours. We just haven't returned them from someone. Since my mom no longer cooks for me, I've eaten more junk food these past three years than all my 18 years of life before that. It's not that I don't like to cook, it's just it's too much time consuming. Netta is kind of like me, not particularly experienced in cooking. One time we pretended that we were experienced in cooking and put just a concoction of things together in a pot. It didn't really taste like anything when it was all said and done. That's probably why we don't bother cooking. It takes too much time just for it to taste mediocre. My cooking experience is next to none. I cook eggs, make cereal, other than that, nothing really. So if anybody's willing to come and cook for me, you're more than welcome to come over. I stay busy, so a meal is not what a meal used to be. Now it's kind of grab a protein bar and run, or eat a Pop-Tart on the way to class, or even grab a sandwich at Quiznos and eat it in class. Before I came to college, I didn't eat half as many odd things as I do now. Like, for instance, put hot sauce on everything. When I say everything, everything. Like, I'd be perfectly okay with putting hot sauce on a biscuit and eating it. I do like to cook. It's not as easy as I would like for it to be because at home my kitchen is a lot bigger and more organized. College dorm kitchen is like a closet. Maybe actually a little smaller than a closet sometimes with a refrigerator and a stove and a microwave. I do have a meal plan, but I don't use it very often because the places to eat on campus are, I won't say that they're not very good. It's more that once you eat them 350 times, you don't want them anymore. Sometimes you just want something more than fried foods or pizza. Sometimes it's a reminder of home, I guess.